Good morning, Brad. I'm Realty. I have the best salespeople in the world selling my product and working for me in our brokerage. Robin Pope and Nicole Van Stone are two of my top resale agents. They're always very busy. And so I know that if I'm gone for a limited time, we're okay. I love my job in real estate because every day is a new day. Every day is different. And it's always fun because I love people and just finding them the right place and then them not even knowing that that's what they would be interested in, that's rewarding for me. Let's go. Oh. Angie is a client of mine that I've been working with and we're looking for her very first purchase. She's just learning about everything that there is to know about the condo market and the actual process from finding a place, buying a place, and then moving into a place. I'm looking to buy a home because it's time. And right now I'm renting. Renting to me is like paying somebody else's mortgage. So instead of helping somebody else out, I'm going to help myself out. It just makes more sense because you're paying into your own property so it's gaining in value year over year three to five percent but also you're, you're not paying fourteen hundred dollars a month fifteen thousand dollars a year to someone else I chose Nicole as my agent because she's a woman I find that being a woman myself it she knows some of the concerns that I would have there's a couple of bars and they have rooftop patios uh, so depending, that could be a problem. Now there, there, there's a lot of things that we need to think about. Her lifestyle, where she wants to be, security, and the type of unit that she's interested in. If I see anybody cute, it's like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> no. Exactly. Let's move on. Okay. Working with young women that are just coming into the market is a lot of fun because they can see that investing in real estate is a good option. I want to begin to build a portfolio, have some equity right now. You know, my equity is my car. There's no reason why women have to wait to purchase something. It's a, it's a big purchase, it's a big commitment, and they can make that commitment on their own without making a commitment to someone else. You know, I want something that's mine place where I can entertain and invite my friends and my family over to my place. So I started looking and I was really excited and then I decided to get pre-approved and what I got pre-approved for was a little bit less than what I thought I could afford. The most important thing is to find out what you're approved for and what your budget is and how high you can go because you don't want to be house rich and life poor. So this is the first one that I'm showing you today. So as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than what we're used to seeing. Um, but this is a lot better as far as um, the value goes, with the granite counters rather than Formica. Yeah. Um, Walking into the space, I wasn't thinking at all that I was going to like it. But to my surprise, I totally did. This is actual hardwood rather than the laminate. And the living dining room is a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. I liked it because the bedroom was a great size, great closet space for my shoes. Mm -hmm. It's a full gym and there's a whirlpool. Amenities is not something that I've been looking for, but I was totally surprised that because of them, it may make me actually buy that condo. This is the biggest space that we've seen, I think. Yeah, and that's so important to me. I love the fact that there's a big entertainment area and the kitchen's right there. The bedroom is a great space. The decor was a little off, but we'll change that. What were the maintenance fees on this one? Maintenance on these is 251. 250. Oh, that's it's less. It's less than the other yeah. one. But again, you have less here. So you don't have a gym, you don't have, you know, those party rooms, that type mm -hmm. of thing. The one thing that I did not like was the view. You're in like an alleyway. Yeah. But, like you said, you trade it off, right? If you want a bigger space, you may not be happy with the view. If you want a great view, you might be getting a smaller space. If you want a higher floor, I mean, there's so many things to look at. So, <laughs> it really comes down to what's important for me. I'm tired, man. It can get overwhelming to a first-time buyer because there's so many things you have to worry about. And the learning curve is so huge that it, there's, you're almost nervous that you're forgetting something and that's what we do we try to think about things that might come up that they haven't thought about I, I really like that space Wellington is really nice I like that layout I want you to think about it but I think we should put an offer in I think okay. the price is great what do you think it'll go for you think it'll go for asking or I think it'll go over asking I think that they've purposely underpriced it so to get as many people interested in it as possible and then um, and then create a bidding war yeah, so we might be in that situation, but if we are, then we'll get through it. 
We would like to keep our options open and don't get oh. hung up on one property. Every condo that we've seen is different in one way or another. Right. Um, but just like very men. similar. Yeah. So just like men. You know, so it's always give and take. It's, you know, you're not, you're not going to love everything about no. one person that you're dating. You're not going to love everything about a condo that you're purchasing. The best pointer is to take your time, don't rush, and make sure you're really happy with the space because you're going to live in it. And you have to open that door and say, oh, thank God I'm home. And if I end up not liking it, I can just break up with it. <laughs> Put it back on the market. Put it back on the market. <laughs> I see Angie's journey ending in um, purchasing a property and being very happy and being very proud of um, this new step that she's taking.